Okay, day two in the colony. We're trying to earn some brownie points with the old camp people. At the same time, we're wanting to uh, learn a bit more about the swamp camp and the new camp. Um, because curiosity and all that. Plus you can't commit to a single camp without knowing what the others are about. And we've learned that the swamp camp is a bit of a cultish weird thing, so... I don't think we'll be joining that. Uh, not just for that reason. But also because... Uh, from what I can remember of the... Uh, advantages it gives you. I'm not sure I like those very much. We just slept. We're basically just exploring still. So, so there's more drag. Uh, I think we need to talk to him, but I'm not going to do that just yet. Because uh, Thoris, Thoris, I think his name is, uh, wants us to get rid of him. That's not really my problem. Why does that have been over over and selling and over? Um, stuff like they stole issue, from though. the old I'm camp? There must be some. Right. You're That's very. Really not it was up. Lots of chatting going on. That wasn't very clever. There was a time. Dexter. Hey, you! I trade in swamp weed and potions from the sect there camp. Do you want something? Right, he's one of the influential people. You're very so probably let's right. ask him about that. I want to join the camp. I want to become a shadow. Oh, you're looking for a chance to prove your worth? Good. You can do me a favor. If you do it well, I'll speak up for you in front of Diego. What is it? In the sect camp, there's a man called Kalam. Quite a big shot. One of the gurus of the sect. Kalam is an alchemist. He has the recipe for an effective healing potion. I'd like to buy the recipe off him. Then I can produce it myself. But nobody can get near Kalam. And what do you expect me to do? The sect loonies are looking for new people all the time. You're new here. Just pretend you want to be recruited. Kalam is one of the gurus. That means he checks the new candidates. If you get in touch with him, try to get the recipe. Whether you want to pay for it or you don't, I don't care. Okay. People never learn. Let's talk about something uh, else instead. Well, I could ask what is in it, it for me, but I asked him if he wanted me to do something because I want to join. He didn't ask me to do it at all. I, I'm asking, Maybe so totally what's idiotic. in it for me is pretty much Always, I'll join the camp. There must be something about that story after all. I mean, I could ask if I can get something extra, I guess. But it seems a bit stupid. People always talk. You're very probably right. Okay, I'll see if I can get the thing. Um, yeah, tell me a bit more about swamp weed, though. What is swamp weed? That's really New here, are you? You can smoke it. Very relaxing for most of us. Really my problem. Cool. Uh, I'm going to ask him about his goods, but I really also want to know if he knows where the sect camp is. Where is the sect camp? Leave the camp through the south exit, then head eastwards. We'd better take a map. I got one here for 50 or. The south exit is the collapsed tower, isn't it? Exactly. As long as That's I'm where I involved. spent the night. Um, I don't think I'll be buying that map. You but, um, it Show me your goods. I got the best different. stuff here. Can't actually see what it is. Um, I doubt but it doesn't have textures or, or pictures for some reason. I don't know why. Don't so much. Yeah, Something's yeah, yeah. buggy. With you this. shouldn't believe everything. Hang on. Anyhow, Better not go rushing rich. into anything. Big territory is missing. Not listening to all that I'd better keep out of it. Let's talk about something. That wasn't very clever. I have a look online to see if there's I a fix for that disappearing ago. items in the inventory. Not Might not be. It's an old game. Uh, I'm not going really to buy anything. Just, uh, 
going on? Keep looking around. Uh, what I'm going to do. The sleeper be with you, stranger. I'm here to guide you onto the right path. Okay, and that's your path, isn't it? And which is the right path? The path of the sleeper. He alone has the power to set us free. The gurus are preparing a great invocation in our camp. They want to get in contact with the sleeper. So far, he's just talked to us in visions. But now, it's time to get in touch with him. We'll need as many supporters as possible for that. By focusing our spiritual power, we'll get through to him. Our camp is some distance away, in the swamp. I can take you there, though, if you want. Uh, not now, though. Uh, what's the benefits of joining? Yeah. What would be the benefit of joining you? Maybe you're one of the chosen people who received the gift of magic from the sleeper. Or you might obtain the highest honors and become a Templar. Only the best fighters among us can obtain that position. If the sleeper is with you, you can even combine both. The best of the Templars receive the gift of magic as well. You see, our brotherhood has a lot of possibilities for you. You should be aware of that before you decide on joining any other camp. I will think about that. Uh, I already asked that other guy about the sleeper, didn't I? And I don't want to go to that other camp just yet. So I'm going to end this conversation here and get back to you later. Hey man, I'm Fisk. I trade goods of all kinds. If you ever need anything, you're in the right place here. So many traders. Um, got armor? Have you got armor for me as well? Well, I'm sure that I can satisfy you. Oh, uh, wow, these are expensive. Um, I think I've got two or at the moment or something. So I'm not going to be buying anything yet. Uh, let's check what other things. Show me your goods. Uh, just or and pick locks. Lock picks. That's good to know. Because I'll probably be. Oh, it's got rusty sword. It's got different types of swords as well. It's not all expensive though. I need to get more money. Um, it's a shame that. Oh, I can see it in the middle. But I can't see it in his inventory. Anywho, um, nothing just now. But good to know that he sends the big look things. Because I think I only have one at the moment. Yeah, I've only got one. 18 coin. I could sell some stuff. But again, I'll do that later. At the moment, I, I feel like I'm just exploring. I'm not going to be trusting many of the major merchants just yet, because I don't know anything about them. Whistler, I was told that that was an important guy too, I think. <laughs> Hi, I'm new here. What do you want from me? I want to become one of you. I want to join the camp. Looking for people to support you, eh? If you want me to have a word with Diego about you, you need to do me a favor. Sure. What kind of favor do you want? I want one of Fisk's weapons. He's one of the traders at the marketplace. He won't sell it to me. It's a broadsword with ornaments. I'll give you 100 ore to collect the weapon for me, but don't tell him about me. Okay, why doesn't he sell it to you, though? Don't blather so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why won't he sell the weapon to you anymore? We had a little argument. <laughs> and? And that's all you need to know. Fair enough. See, uh, this again is a kind of stupid question. First of all, there's not far for me to run in this place. It is a prison colony. I'm sure he has ways to find me. Second of all, I asked him Same if I could do him a favor because I want to join. There's no point in running off with the ore if that means I, I can't join them, is there? Well, I guess I could still do it, but like I say, there's no nowhere for me to run. Everything. We're all stuck in this place, so. Um, 
does that happen over and over again? There must be something about I mean, that I can ask after him. all. Did you ever consider that I might just run off with the ore? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't forget, the colony is small. If you run off with my ore, I'll find you. Yeah, exactly. Same old story every time. Okay, give me the hundred ore nuggets. I'll get the thing. Here you go. Come straight back to me. Let's try this. I'd better keep out of it. Seems a fairly straightforward one. Although it's probably not going to be. I vaguely remember some of the quests in this game, especially the earlier ones, because you tend to replay them a lot. You shouldn't believe everything you hear. It was obvious that there would be trouble. Uh, I'd like to buy a sword. <laughs> Very subtle. I'd like to buy a sword, but not just a simple one. I'd like something more ornamental. I have one you'll like. The shadow who wanted to collect it won't be coming anymore. That'll be 110 ore. Interested? I don't really have the money uh, at the moment. Maybe later. I'm not going to sell it. Oh, he wanted to sell it to Whistler for less because he says don't mention my name, so I'm not going to. I'll probably double the price or something stupid if he's like, oh, Whistler sent you. Rely on somebody and you're in trouble. Uh, he wants more money. Fisk wants 110 ore for his sword now. And you want me to give you the 10 ore now? I thought you wanted to have that sword. Here, take it. And now hurry. I mean, yeah, I'm fresh off the boat. I don't have any money. I literally don't. Hello. Sell me the sword. I'd like to buy a sword, but not just a simple one. I'd like something more ornamental. I have one you'll like. The shadow who wanted to collect it won't be coming anymore. That'll be 110 ore. Interested? It's a good thing he didn't see me uh, running back and forth to Whistler there. Yes, I'll take it. You got a good deal here. I'm sure I did. I don't care though, it's not for me. So that's one quest out of the way at least. Hang on. Better not go rushing into anything. I have your sword. Wasn't too hard, was it? Whatever. You do me a favor, and I'll do you one. If Diego should ask after you, I'll speak in your favor. Until then, have a good time. Thanks. So that's one guy backing me up already. I wouldn't like to be in his shoes, though. What I was going to say, though, before he, I got interrupted by him, um... Is that I wanted to uh, exit out through this gate again and go back to uh, where you start the game and maybe deal with some of the monsters there because um, there'll be simple monsters that I can actually deal with, hopefully. <laughs> and uh, hey, you! Aren't you the guy who wants to join the camp? What if I am? I could help you. And how? There are two guys sitting around outside the camp, but one of them has stolen something from the ore barons. It's a precious amulet, which should have arrived with the last convoy. One of them should still be in possession of the amulet. If we attack them together, we should manage. I couldn't do it on my own. Why do you say? Maybe later. Um, you think? As long as I'm not at all. Never learn. Yeah. What will happen when we have the amulet? That's an easy one. I'll return it and get the reward. I'll tell him you help me. Then you'll be in Gomez's good books for sure. Yeah, 50-50. No, it's either 50-50 or you can do it on your own. Okay, okay, 50-50. I suppose it'll be enough for the two of us anyway. So, can I count on you? See, I didn't really want to do that right now, though. Um, do it later. Some people never learn. 
Count me in. All right, just tell me when we can start. Okay, later then. Uh, maybe ask him a bit about. What's life like here? Easy going. As long as you pay your share of protection money to the guards. Yeah, I heard about that. I already know. Uh, not interested in it now. I want to go. That's not really my problem. Out of the camp. You have to Back to the beginning. Ah, you probably rely on somebody and you're in trouble. That's how it goes. Those two are probably the guys he was talking about. I vaguely remember that quest. Tiniest elevation in the bridge there. Back when I first played this game, I thought it looked amazing. Obviously, pl replaying it now, you can tell it's uh, old. <laughs> it's got the, uh, the trees made out of flat surfaces. Same old story every time. Still fun to play though. Um, now the downside is controls can be a bit clunky. For this game, it's all keyboard controls, um, and you need several buttons for doing uh, a simple action. Huh. I do like the. Uh, general build, um, how do I say this, that level design, the, the different areas of the prison colony are well designed, got some ruins and some mountainous areas and more foresty bits, and quite like how they did that. Right, let's practice our uh, sword sings on those meat bugs that are crawling around here at the start. Going well, is it? It's probably not the best idea to try to kill a meat bug with a sword. how to kill these. <laughs> They're too low to the ground. Maybe if I go like this. Nope. I mean, if I had a bow, I could probably shoot them. That seems a bit stupid, and I'd probably lose my arrows, and I don't want to waste an arrow. I mean, I could just plonk a rock on it, or stomp on it, or something. I have no idea how I meant to fight these. I'm sure you can fight them because I've done it in the previous games and I usually just did it with my sword. But um, maybe a different weapon is more useful. Let's uh, use the pickaxe, which is the weapon I usually have at this time. Maybe it fights better. Yeah. Apparently pickaxes are better for killing meat bugs. There we go. I'm gonna swap back into my good sword. And yeah. Yay! Disgusting meat from meat bugs. Huzzah. Uh, 
Right. Let's climb up. Did we take whatever was in here? Probably did. Is there anything over here? Not really, though we can climb up that way. I'm going to climb this way. Uh, not that. There we are. Flower. Keyboards binds uh, key bindings are not correct for my keyboard. It, it assumes I've got a different keyboard than I do. Anyway. there. I always forget you can't loot while your sword is out in this game. Right, now there's two of those uh, rat things there. I only want to fight them one at a time if I can help it, so I'm going to try to only anger one at a time. But I'm going to deal with that other scavenger first. There's a goblin up there. It's hard to tell if you don't know what it is, but it is a goblin. I recognize the little monsters. There's two kinds. There's black ones and green ones. Oops. Well done me. I'm only half dead now. That's okay. I have lots of this. So... Now, do we de deal with the little goblin first, or shall I go with the... Um, what are they, mole rats or something? Um, little goblin. It's probably a terrible choice. Let me see. Hello. Please don't kill me. <laughs> ah! Oh, that did a lot of damage. <laughs> Good thing I saved. <laughs> Damn you. Monster. Right. It might not be a bad idea to come back to the goblin once we can afford some armor. So that it doesn't, you know, one shot almost kills me. I don't know why I couldn't actually attack it though. Um, I might have done something wrong there. I'll leave it for now. Try to attack these things. Okay, yeah. So, I remember the trick correctly. I 
which is you approach them and then they yell at you angrily and then you jump back before the other one also starts yelling. Juveniles. I am not a fighter, regardless of what my character was before coming to prison. She is not a fighter. Aha. Our first level up, I think. Maybe? Maybe a second? Let me check. Yes, level one. Haha. <laughs> Well done me, 10 skill points that I can spend on whatever. Um, I'll need to collect some ore because what I really want to spend several of these points on at least, maybe not all, uh, is the hunting abilities where you can learn how to skin animals, take their teeth and things like that. Because they are really handy for making more money. Okay. Save. And move on. I do save a lot in games like this. Because um, I don't want to die. It's a good thing I did with the goblin and all, for example. Plus I'm really scared all the time. I think I've got everything here except for the goblin, but I'm leaving that um, until I'm either stronger or I can afford some armor or something. Because I didn't like the way that it could basically almost one-shot me. Uh, now, how do I walk again? Okay, this way. Because <laughs> I basically... If I walk, I can't fall off the edge, and I can't quite remember where the exit is. Somewhere around here. Because if I fall, like fall damage is very real in this game as well. So if you fall oof, off a, a big ledge, you're dead. Ah, don't do this to me. Oh. Oops. Yeah, I was a bit deeper than I thought, but all's right. And we're there. Okay. Good, good. Made it all safe and sound. I'll come back some other time for that horrible goblin. I could have tried a couple more times, see if I could get some more swings in and block and stuff. Uh, but I'm not going to yet. The fact that I leveled up, uh, I'm probably... I'm just going to check. I think each of the hunting skills is one skill point. But I can't remember exactly how many of them there are, so I'm going to have a little chat with him and check uh, what I can learn, just to see how many, if any, I can spend outside of that. I wonder if these are juveniles as well. I just basically want to kill everything I can. Let's have a word with drag you have to watch what you tell people uh yeah what else can you tell me about hunting a lot but it'll cost you more than a beer yeah, I mean, if exactly. you know how you can take the creature's teeth claws and skin it's hard to get them but they are valuable at least every merchant will trade those things with you 
So yeah, it's, it'll cost one skill point and there's four. So I can spend quite a like six points on something else. That's good. That is very good. I'm not sure yet what I want to spend my other points on. Uh, I could spend it on just general attributes uh, with um, Diego. He could teach me some strength and dexterity. Um, I have no protection because I don't have any armor on or any amulets or anything. Uh, fighting skills. Now I haven't come across anyone who could teach me that yet. Um, I'm unskilled at opening locks or pickpocketing. A 90% chance of failure. I'm thinking um, the open locks, because of the way the lock picking works, uh, is more of a chance of breaking your lock pick when you do a wrong move, if I remember correctly. And I can't sneak or do acrobatics. Now, I think some guy named Fingers could teach me how to sneak in the old camp. I do remember the guy who could teach you acrobatics is in the new camp. I don't know if those are juveniles. They might be regular ones. I don't know if or how you can tell the difference. They might be a bit smaller than the regular ones. That's difficult to tell from a distance. Um, just going to save and have a think about what can I do. Strength and dexterity. I'm pretty sure the standard thing is that if you want to go for a melee build, you go for strength. Otherwise, you go for dexterity for a, a, a ranger uh, with bows. But I think you can get crossbows that are strength based. If you run away from animals that you think you can't beat, they will make a noise and then give up chasing you. I don't know if that will return to its cave though. Anyway, I think maybe I'll uh, invest a little bit in strength so I can do more damage. You gotta watch what you uh, strength basically. More damage with my sword seems like a there good idea. About after all. Can you teach me something? Yes. I can teach you to improve your dexterity or your strength. So I can put five points in strength, which will cost me five skill points, and then I still have four left for the hunting skills and one for whatever else. So that might be a good idea. Yep. Your strength has increased a lot. Yeah. Come back soon. There are many things you need to learn. Could you have me just like... Take care. Lugging lumber around or something. I doubt that's ever likely to change. I wonder, does it say... It does say the time of day... So it's almost four o'clock. Reliance. Days go by fast. But keep it to your <laughs> same. 
uh, I think instead of going back never. out, I will. Hang I'll on. Better. I know what happens if I walk this way. <laughs> I remember this because I painstakingly avoid this area in all my playthroughs. But you know, going for the full experience here. This guy. Hello. How's things? Not bad. If you can cook well, you have many friends here. <laughs> Would you like some of my rice stew? Thanks. You could do me a favor. What's that? What can I do for you? You must be used to good food. I have a new recipe. Meat bug ragu a la snaff with rice and mushrooms. You can have as much as you want, but I still need three meat bugs and some hell mushrooms. Five should be enough. Okay, that sounds... Actually, no, that doesn't sound terrible. Sounds good. Then go and see you get me the things. The last one I sent just hasn't come back. Must have deserted to the new camp. Okay, where can I find more meat bugs? Where can I find meat bugs? Everywhere where there's garbage laying around. You should be able to find some at the deserted huts near the castle wall. Don't get confused by their ugly looks. Once cooked, they are tasty. And the mushrooms? Where can I find hell mushrooms? If you leave through the south gate, that's the collapsed tower. You'll see a plane directly in front of you. There's mushrooms growing there. Okay, that doesn't sound too hard. Uh... Who was the guy you sent before me? His name was Neck. He was pretty discontented here. I think he's in the new camp now. I sent him to collect mushrooms, but he didn't come back. Mm. No. Do I or do I not dare to talk to this guy? I do not yet want to. That won't happen again. That's really not my problem. Oh, I could just ask him this. You wouldn't speak up for me in front of Diego, would you? Depends. If you demonstrate that you've learned something as a thief, we could make use of you. How am I supposed to do that? Learn a thief's skill. You need to become more skilled in sneaking around, pickpocketing, or opening locks. Then you'll have my vote. Okay. I want to become a shadow. So? Can you help me? Can you help me? I wouldn't know how. We've already had this comfort. Well, yeah. I'm looking for somebody to teach me something. Why have you come to me? Diego sent me. You should have said that before. If you want to join the camp, it's an advantage to be a good fighter or a thief. If the influential shadows in this camp test you, they'll give you tasks you'd better not get caught doing. That's why the way of the thief would be a good start to you. Incidentally, I'm the best thief in the whole of the old camp. So what can you teach me? What can you teach me? And that depends on what you want to know. Uh, so lockpicking, level one, level two. Wow, that's a lot of skill points. I want to learn how to sneak around. I believe, no false modesty, that I'm one of the best thieves they ever chucked into this colony. But when it comes to teaching how to sneak around, Cavalorn is the better man for you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll have to pay a visit to him because I'm not super interested to learn these right now. I don't have skill points for it anyway. Uh, where can I find this Cavalorn dude? Where can I find Cavalorn? 
He's hunting out in the wild. You'll find him at the path to the new camp. Westwards of the old camp, there's a wide canyon. In this canyon, there's an old woodcutter's hut. You'll find him there. Okay, thanks. I'll have a word with that guy at some point then. Maybe. You're very probably right. It was obvious that there would be trouble ahead. On my way to the meat book place. Uh, you there. You seem important. What's your job here? I'm in charge of the arena. I organize the bets, hire new fighters. You know. Uh, yeah, can you I want to join the camp. Can you help me? I might be able to, if you manage to impress me. Some of the best fighters from all three camps come here to compete against each other. Challenge one of them to a fight. I'll watch you, and if you're good, maybe I'll think about it. Uh, why do the others fight here? I thought the old camp and the new camp didn't get on. So why do you let their people fight here? It's simple. There's fights here once a week, and the diggers always like to see one of the rogues from the new camp get flattened. If one of them fights, there's more bets, and that's good for business. Personally, I can't stand the swines from the new camp. But business is business. Fair enough. Do you train people at all? Do you train fighters at all? Yeah, but not just for fun. If you want me to train you, you'll have to pay for it. Okay, so he can teach me one-handed sword skill. It requires 10 skill points. I will come back when I'm level 2 for that. Um, because it's actually pretty handy. Because you may have noticed that my guy, while he fights with a one-handed sword, still holds it in both hands. Like an idiot, there's a meat bug I want to kill. But I don't want to anger anyone. Hang on. Better not. It was obvious. I'm not looking. Problem with fighting in the city is Some that. Or. Settlement. Is that if you pull out your weapon too close to other people, they'll get a bit angry at you, and if you leave it out, they'll start attacking. What do you intend to do with the... Like so. Clever b Come on, I want to pass! Sorry, sorry. Right. That's really not my problem. Um. Maybe. I'm not listening to all the blathering. I thought it was going to fall off the roof. Come on, I just want to. You have to watch what you tell people. Looks like I'm doing some sort of weird aerobics here. There must be something about that story after all. Meat bug meat. I'll just take all the ones we can get so that we have some for ourselves as well. There we go. There we go, all of them. I think I don't hear any more of them at least. Right. Uh, Hang what time is Better it? Go Almost into six. I don't know exactly when it starts going dark here. I think maybe around seven ish. I'd better keep out. This is just here. That needs to be. Why does that happen over a lock picked and I did it all correctly. Healing potion, that some meat and another and pick always talk. Awesome. So that was right and then three left to that open that again. one. And the dude stood time, here is gone. Idiotic. I don't know who Hang that on. was. It was a but I'm going to save. And have a quick look, see if I can find those mushrooms. Without dying, preferably. There's no 
mushrooms at least. Oh, lots of mushrooms here. Try to stay away from the scavengers. And that in the back, that weird thing is supposedly a lizard. And I'm definitely not going to try to fight that now on my own. Because I don't want to die. Also, there's no running away from them, I think, at my level. They're very fast. So yeah. Oh, I didn't change my weapon to a sword. Uh, it's starting to get darkish now. You can hear the, the nighttime bird sounds as well. Let's see if I can go get those mushrooms without angering the more rats. I can. How about those? Haha! -ha. Perfect. got more strength now so it should be a bit easier to kill them actually so I'm going to just have a try because if you don't try then you don't know one by one though please yes try not to alert the others Mexican standoff. Well, it worked. It's dead and I'm not, so that's a win. Although I am going to heal <laughs> before I tackle the others. Because I want to see what's in that cave. I can see something lying there, and I think it's a god or something. Um, might be uh, the other guy that the cook sent before me, actually. a bit so that the other doesn't get aggroed. Ah. This one went a lot better. And now for the final one. Is it's a little bit like in The Witcher 1 where you have to push the button for your sword swing at the exact correct moment so that you're in the rhythm of things. So you can practice it without actually fighting anything. If you do it at the wrong moment, it doesn't go as smoothly. He's a bit slower in his attacks. Um, and when you learn better skills, so when you learn the swordsmanship skills, uh, he actually gets better at it, I think. Ooh, lots of ore. I like that. So it is a dead guard. All he had was ore. Just gonna have a little snack. The grilled meat is probably my favorite to heal on 
randomly because you get so much of it just from killing more enemies. And it's night time now. So what I'll do is I'll just return. Hey, you! I don't think I've seen you here before. No wonder. I've only just got here. Then watch out. The outside world is pretty dangerous. You're only safe inside a camp. That is true. That won't happen again. Um, like I was saying, what I'll do is I'll return to the cook with the ingredients, and then I will uh, call it a day. Oh, and check whatever I got off of that guard. Um, there was an axe, which might actually be better than my current sword. I'll have a look at that before I go to sleep for the night. Hello. No, not the kettle. Hello. I have the things you wanted from me. Good. I just have to add them. Then the stew will be ready. Wait. Okay. You told me I could have as much stew as I wanted. And that's true. Here, take three portions. I'm pretty sure he only gives you three a day. You told me I could have as much stew as I wanted. Sure, but there's nothing left today. Come back tomorrow. I will. If I remember. <laughs> it's pretty good because... Uh, let's, uh, let's have a look at our inventory now. We've got some... Yeah, some ragu. Some healing herbs. At the moment, they're a bit of a waste to use because I don't have that much health. So. But I am going to cook my raw meats. So that's what we got. We got some two potions of healing. We've got 13 ore nuggets now. And this withered axe is indeed better than my old sword. Only does 12 damage, and this one does 13 damage. Requires less strength, too. Nice. Okay. Might actually. I was thinking I might have a look, see if, if I sell everything I don't need, whether I'd have enough money to buy some armor. I don't think I would, because the armor was uh, about 200 or and all of this is really not worth much. It's all just... all less than 10 or. That won't happen again. Maybe, but who cares? But yeah, that's it for today. There would be trouble ahead. I'd better keep out of We helped two people. You hear. People all well done us. I I'd better keep out it of it.